All right. Hello out there, YouTube modeling community. Um, I know a couple of guys out there have posted some pictures of their their one-to-ones um, or real cars, however you prefer to refer to them. Uh, fortunately, I've been in a situation in my life where um, I had a 69 Camaro about 26, 27, 28 years ago and had to sell it and was really fortunate to be able to end up with uh, another first generation Camaro about 11 years ago and uh, of course no intentions of selling this um, this is what it's looking like right now replaced put all new grill um, headlight bezels headlight holders turn signals on it this winter um, I don't know how well this is gonna turn out guys um, in the process of getting new wheels, these are the new wheels. I was running the old uh, uh, weld drag lights um, and those uh, Mickey Thompson ET drag radials, those particular ones are about seven years old. And those are the new rear tires and uh, of course the quad. Um, and these are getting ready to go on. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and open the hood for you guys. Um, it's 468 cubic inch, about 10 and a half to one compression. Got a comp cam solid roller in it with about a 728 lift on a 108 lobe center. Um, last winter we changed the Replaced all the fuel line, went to this black fuel line. I liked how it, it looks a lot better. Um, radiator support's all new. That was all part of the front stuff that we replaced this winter. Um, had the headers jet coated. I don't know how well they're going to show up on there, but they're black. Uh, Global West tubular upper and lower control A arms. Four inch fiberglass uh, hardwood cal induction hood. I said sorry guys if this is bouncing around a lot. Interior working on it, uh, replacing the carpet. Um, except for the gauges in the center console, it's pretty stock. I've got the stock seats front and back that I'm putting in it. The interior is pretty stock. Did put an I did it uh, tilt steering column in it. Um, and then uh, last winter's project was switching over to the fuel cell. It's an aeromotive uh, with the aeromotive A1000 fuel pump. And another shot of the interior. Hopefully this is showing up. Uh, we're still working on it. That's why you see some of the vents and stuff hanging out of it, wiring hanging down. Um, in all honesty, guys, I'm not a real heavy mechanic. Um, I'm kind of a tinkerer, so I've got a really good friend of mine that helps me out with a lot of the real heavy stuff. Um, I don't mind digging in and getting my hands dirty, but I definitely want to have somebody who's done it quite a bit. Um, I've just got too much invested in this for me to start trying to learn and and do it all on my own and and it looks the way it does because of a lot of friends help um, friends and family over the years and uh, and as you guys know that have had these type of vehicles they're never truly done there's always something to improve or change on it but anyway um, I think I've rambled on long enough. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it and uh, feel free to leave me comments. Thanks.